As the temperature outside begins to rise, so does the chance your personal property will be stolen when you're out and about. Dozens of cell phones, purses, and backpacks are stolen literally right behind your back in just seconds every year. In tonight's special report, Sally Schulze shows us how to protect yourself from a diversion theft. What a thief has to do is he has to distract you. He has to get you to turn away from your item that he wants. And that's very simple. As chairman of Cook County Crime Stoppers, George McCade knows exactly how easily a thief can distract us and quickly walk off with our personal property. And all I've got to do is get you to turn just that much. And when you stop to rest, to order something, to get something to eat, something to drink, just to sit and relax, I think that's when you're vulnerable. And when the weather is nice, who doesn't want to sit down and relax outside? The purses on the back of the chair is one of these easiest ones. McDade says a thief and his team usually identify their target before they sit down. Maybe the bag you carry. Maybe that you have a purse that's not sealed, it's open. It may have long straps. Once you sit down, what finalizes you as the target is how you put your item. McDade and his team of would-be thieves showed us how quickly a purse on the back of the chair can disappear. It's just a slip in the arm and a hand and it's gone. It's quiet, it's quick. All it takes is a little friendly conversation from a stranger to get you to turn your head. How you doing, man? Can I bother you for a minute? I'm with the softball team. But when I turn that piece of paper around and it has writing on it, what are you going to do? You're going to focus now on the writing. So now your attention is drawn into this narrow area. That may be the silent cue for him or whoever it is to come up behind you, take the purse, take the cell phone, take the backpack, and they're gone. McDade says thieves use the same approach too when trying to steal your cell phone or backpack. Again, it all comes down to where you place your personal property when you sit down. If you put your cell phone in the front or in front of you in the center, I'm not going to steal it because it's too hard. But if you put it to the left side or to the right side, then that tells me the phone's there. Now I have to get you to turn your face away from the phone. Same thing goes for a backpack. We often put them down on the ground just out of our direct line of sight. That's why McDade says it's best to keep your items on the table in front of you. He also says you can keep your purse or your backpack on the ground in between your feet. They're watching you. You've already been targeted. You just don't know it. And then they're just coming to get you. If you find yourself a victim of diversion theft, McDade says you need to report the theft to police and your cell phone carrier. When you report your cell phone or laptop as stolen, you also need to know the device's electronic serial number. That will help police to possibly track it down quickly. Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.